じめましてマキセクリスですどうぞよろしく運命はこういう形に収束するのかなあ大いに清馬よ結局俺はやるしかないらしい健闘を祈っててくれヘルプサイコングルー I just got a boner Oye, que lo que pasa en la gente de YouTube, yo soy Kiri de Kiri TV, ya tú sabes. Woo! Now, what's up, everybody? For you English speakers, what's good? Anyways, I haven't been on my YouTube really that much active lately because I've been getting into、uh, the, the app Anime Amino. And it's a wonderful place where you can meet a lot of people who like anime and they got sort of public chats. It's like a Twitter, a lot of people follow you. I enjoy it a lot because it, it's a community thing. I really love it. So. If you don't know what it is, check it out. It's an app you can download. It's like a Twitter version of anime. Everybody's cool. You can post your own blogs. You can make your own chats. You could join other people's chats. They got all kinds of chats. And you could ask questions. You could put polls and shit. It's really cool. So if you're an anime person, check it out. So today, I'm going to be talking about Steins Gate Motherfucking Zero, my nigga. If you guys don't know what it is, it's the anime version of Time Squad, nigga. No, I'm playing. Time Squad is a completely different cartoon. I love time travel and shit. That's the bottom point. If you know that cartoon, that's what's up. But, anyway, so if you don't know what、uh, <clears throat> Steins Gate is, get the fuck out of this video and go watch that show right now. It's that good. Because I'm about to spoil a little bit things in here to get into the second season. So, my personal opinion, if, if personally, I love Steins Gate. I want to see, I, I love it a lot. But I ain't gonna lie. After like 25 episodes, how much it is? Around 25 or so, it ended pretty good. Like, you know, it had a good ending. It ran for a good long time. It seemed like it didn't need a season two, but I'm excited there is a season two anyway. And I don't think it's gonna fuck it up because it's not a direct. It's, well, it's not necessarily a direct continuation. It's more like a what if if he made this other choice that he did. And that's what it's going into, which is still pretty awesome. You know, probably at the end, whatever happens at the end of that anime, I don't know if it'll tie in with the first season, but, you know, I guess it's kind of like either that's the ending or this is the ending, whatever you get to choose from both seasons, if you get what I mean. But, anyways, so if you don't know what Steins Gate is, it's a sci fi time travel type of, <clears throat> type of anime. It's based on the visual novel, so it wasn't a manga or a light novel, at least I don't think, but the original story comes from the visual novel published by. 5GP, I believe, and Nitro Plus, I think. So that's what they're called. And it's based on the story of this story that's been on the internet for, I think, many years. I'm not sure where it comes from. I think it might be an American story, whatever, called, you know, about this dude named John Teeter. It came on the it came on the website about some guy claiming to be from the future from a time machine in World War III nearby and shit like that, like in 2033 or something like that. I don't know how long that, that's been on, but it's an actual real website. I remember my, my friend told me about it. That, you know, it's based on the story about this dude named John Teeter. And when I looked it up, there's an actual dude who claims to be John Teeter, whatever it is. He posts his shit. I don't, I don't think it's active anymore. So I guess that's what makes it look fake now. But some people actually believe it. Some people thought it was real. But that's what Steins Gate is based on. You know, that. So <clears throat> in Steins Gate, you follow this dude whose name is Okabe Rintaro. And he's, a, he's your average college student. Well, he's not your average college student, but he, he looks like your average college student and shit like that. He wants to be a scientist. That's, his, that's what he loves. But you know how when you see in, in animes people who are smart or want to be scientists, they're supposed to be like the top notch looking motherfucker or they're geeky or whatever the hell it is. And they're really, really like ridiculous. Ridiculous shit. Like, you know, fucking light Yagami status. You all know how his brain was. But, anyways, no, no. He's, he's a dude who is very smart. Very smart. But he, you know, he's like your average dude. He acts like your average dude. But he wants to be a mad scientist. Not necessarily that he wants to be an evil mad scientist or anything. He just wants to discover something big and be known for it. And he just loves science, specifically time travels. He, he's, that's what he's looking for, trying to make something in time travel. So, there's all these characters like Kurosu and Mayushi and Itaro, who's known as the hack, and then, you know, various other friends he knows, like Ferris and this other person that I forgot his name, but he wants to be a girl. I don't know what it is. But they're all friends, and you see them all in the show. And then,、um, what's it called? So, what happens is 
he eventually discovers a time travel type of thing. He figures out how to do it. It has to do with this old ass computer, some microwave that turns shit into green, which I think represents like the the cells trying to transport transport somewhere maybe in time but it's kind of like a failed thing and then his own phone i forgot how they do it but all of it works together they get all this shit and he finds that sim that when he when he does all this uh this shit he could send emails from the past on his phone which affect the present you know and the future now it doesn't make his phone like that permanently he has to turn on all this shit i think it is like the microwave and the thing like all his is chemical stuff before he could activate it and do it on his phone so that's pretty much what he does so he ends up doing that he he finds out like wow we actually made it work and then you know they start working on different things like you know he starts doing all these time travel stuff you know he uses it I'm not going to get into detail on what he does with it because, like, it's, a, it's hard to explain. You have to watch it. It's so many things. But the point is, shit goes wrong, and he has to undo these emails, you know, the stuff they sent back to the past, in order to get back to his, his timeline. Why does he get disoriented out of his timeline? Is because these emails only... When these emails take effect, he's the only one that knows the changes. Everybody else acts as if it never happened. He's the only one that gets thrown into these timelines is what he soon figures out. And he tries to go back to get into the right one because shit goes down. You know, it's not the correct one. And as he's trying to get back to his own thing, he he experiences shit over and over again. Like, failed attempts to save his friends and certain things. Especially with his group organization who, like, finds out what he's doing and they try to, you know, stop him. Not stop him, like, in, like, stop what you're doing. No, they literally, like, oh, you've discovered a time machine, we'll take it, and you die. But anyways, it's, like, some secret go government organization. It's, like, some European thing. It's, like, CERN or something. So, he tries to undo all the shit and get back to his timeline where the shit never happened and all his friends are there and everything is cool. But <clears throat> it just keeps repeating over and over again. And one of the persons that he knew was actually John Teeter. And John Teeter is actually one of the characters who's just a chick who is actually from the future and the child of, like, one of the characters. Um, and one that, what ends up happening is after he finally gets sort of to the right pathway, a lot of shit goes down. Then he, he ends up finding that, you know, if uh, Kurosu, if you know who she is, if you watch the show, she ends up getting hurt and he's got to go back in time. And, you know, with that big-ass machine that they found. It's all these puzzles, but the point is, you know, he, he, tries to, he tries to save her doing that. And he attempts over and over and over again until he finally gets it. And then that's how a nice ending forms when he finally gets it right. Now, where Styles Gate Zero takes place, there's an episode out that has to do with that part right there that leads into Zero is when he decides, no, I am not going back in time. Fuck that. You know... I tried over and over again. I know what happens. I'd rather not relive nightmares. Let's just live with how it is. So she's dead and he's not going back in time. He lives with it. And that's where Steins Gate Zero takes. However, at the end, he finds that she is alive somehow. And he thinks, and I, and he thinks, I don't know, something happened. He, all I know is he says, "Hyoin Kyoma el Saikanguru." You know, that's his, that's his shit. That's that's when you know he's going into his mad scientist mode. And that's where Steins Gate Zero is going to pick in. I don't know when when the season launches or whatever, but we're going to see Steins Gate back after so many years. You wouldn't think that you know it would come back. So you know, and we're going to see what happens. You know, between you know this this whole cluster shit right here you know so it's really really bananas my nigga so i know my shit was spewed all over the place forgive me i'm not very good at these uh anime reviews and shit i kind of more more i kind of written this out on my anime amino a little differently explaining some of this shit so you should probably check that out i'll leave it in the description because anime amino is awesome i love animes like these that are just <clears throat> they don't make them like too much like they said so this is a treat so anyways guys your boy kitty signing out Peace. uh hey master <laughs> i am a scientist it's so cool instead of a bitch Hi, Nandeska? Nihongo de Oke ka.